Not much is said about Philip in the book of Acts, but what is mentioned is worth repeating. Led by the Spirit to travel from Jerusalem to Gaza, Philip had a providential encounter with the Ethiopian eunuch. The Ethiopian was studying Isaiah 53, but did not understand what he was reading. Upon the invitation into the Ethiopian's chariot, Philip opened his mouth and beginning at this scripture, preached Jesus to him, Acts 8 verse 35. This Christ-centered, prophecy-based Bible study was so profoundly impactful that the Ethiopian requested baptism that same day, confessing his wholehearted belief in Jesus as the Son of God. After baptizing him, Philip was taken away by the Spirit and the Ethiopian man went home rejoicing. Perhaps you have been contemplating baptism. You, like the Ethiopian eunuch, believe Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of the world and you want Him to be the Lord of your life. Baptism is the public declaration of this inward conviction. It is not an announcement of your perfection, but rather of your acceptance of Christ's perfect life, death and resurrection in your behalf. And because Jesus lives, you can experience abundant life in Him. John 10 verse 10. As you walk in the newness of life, rejoice in the fact that you are a child of God, deeply forgiven and dearly loved. Romans 6 verse 4. Today, I invite you to consider making the choice to be baptized. Heaven will rejoice with you.